Yeah, back again with MKF. But really, before we get started on this video, I just wanted to say thank you to the Hodge Twins, or TMW, whatever you want to say. Thank you, I know I got a lot of new subscribers from them, and people are wondering how do I know the Hodge Twins, and I actually know the Hodge Twins. We go back to February of 2011, so almost two years ago. Here's the story. Um, I saw that they made a YouTube channel, and they probably had a thousand subscribers at the time, and I probably had 9,000? I don't know. It's just a guess. 9,000, we'll say. And what I did was I actually uploaded one of their videos to my channel, my old channel, not this one obviously, but my old one, Lean Body Lifestyle, if you guys know. And ever since then, they've always just been very nice to me. So Keith and Kevin, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you guys. But with that being said, what is going on guys? My name is Michael and here we are back in my room with another video. And what I wanted to talk about today is actually the body fat percentage required to see six pack abs. And I figured this would be a good topic because a lot of people, their new year's resolution is they want to see abs. That's it. I know that's a pretty broad resolution, but I've talked to a lot of people and that is their goal to get six pack abs. So to get abs, you obviously have to have a body fat percentage low enough to see them. And I'm sure you guys have heard the saying a hundred times, everyone has abs, but they just have fat over their abs. And yes, that is a true statement, but you do have to train and develop your abs to be able to see them and have them be you know, a six pack or whatever you want to say. So guys and girls each have a different body fat percentage so they can see abs. But later on in this video, I'll explain why I don't like body fat percentage. But if you were going to go off of these numbers, if you're a dude and you want to see your abs, just a general range is at or under 10%. And if you're a lady and you want to see some abs, it's probably 17% and under. And if you're wondering why there's such a difference between the two, just go ahead and take a look at a guy's body and a girl's body and you can see why. But here's the reason why I don't like body fat percentage. One, it's just a number and I think people let their body fat percentage define them. And if you look in the mirror and you're happy with how you look and you can see abs, that's great. That's what I do. I don't care about my body fat percentage. And two, the other reason why I don't like it is because the body fat percentage test is so hit and miss. Chances are it's nearly impossible to get an accurate body fat percentage test because there is so much room for human error while you're getting your test. Maybe you have a personal trainer that does it or a friend or maybe you do it yourself. There's just so much room for error every single time you get the test done. So it's difficult to get an accurate reading. And the only way to get an accurate accurate reading is like a hydrostatic chamber, but those are really expensive and I've never seen one personally. But really the main point that I wanted to say is please do not obsess over your body fat percentage. Don't let it define you. If you look in the mirror and you're happy with the way that you look and you can see your abs, that's great. And I've been thinking about making an about me Q&A video. So if you guys have any questions for me, leave them down below in the comments if you would like to see that type of video. And the whole reason I'm doing that is so I can potentially incorporate more personality into the video so you guys can know me a little bit better because there's only so much personality I can put into a cooking video where I'm talking about protein powder, oats, whatever. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. And I'm sorry for the lack of videos lately. School just started back up on Monday, so I've been kind of busy with that. But I'm going to go now, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey. 